What's poppin'? Welcome back to my bathroom. Today I have something a little different. I'm gonna give y'all some holy grail. Some tips that I wish I knew when I started wearing my hair curly. Okay, I've noticed a lot of my friends and family have been going natural. And they come to me because... Who else are you gonna go to? So they come to me, they ask me questions, and I give them the same set of questions every single time. So I'm just make a video, so then I can just refer them to that video, so then I don't have to type out everything. You dig what I'm saying? But before I get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate the love, because you know, it makes me, it makes me shed a couple happy tears. You dare say? So yeah, let's get into this video, and let's start with tip one. Okay, so this tip might be a little weird. You might be like, what? That doesn't make any sense. But my tip, Number one that's always very good for me is use tings from the earth. Does that make sense? So I probably have five products that are not from earth. And by earth, I mean like avocado oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, aloe vera. You know what I mean? Those are my primary hair products that I use on my hair. Things not from the earth that I use would be like a twisting cream, okay? All I have that's a hair product, hair product is... Twisting cream, shampoo, conditioner, a heat protectant, and a leave-in conditioner. That's all I have, that's all I need, that's all I notice I need. Everything else is all natural. I have a lot of avocado oil, I have a lot of olive oil, I have jojoba oil, I have black castor oil, and I have aloe vera gel, which I love. I'll get into that later, okay? So use things from the earth. That's that is from the earth like it's gonna help you out use things that's only that one ingredient so what I mean by that is like if you get avocado oil it should say ingredients avocado oil you don't need to see anything else if you see anything other than avocado oil don't buy it like at the beauty supply store when you pick up carrot oil and it's like the orange one y'all know what I'm talking about y'all know what I'm talking about it's the orange oil and it has like 50,000 ingredients don't get that go get the original thing yes it's a little more pricey but you want healthy hair or not nah? Okay, so now into tip two. Okay, I find this tip very important. Less is more. And what I mean by that is you don't need 5,000 products. I remember when I first started wearing my hair curly, I would always go on Instagram and these beauty gurus would have so many products. Like their cabinets would be its own beauty supply store. Like I used to be like, oh my gosh, I want to have so many products like that. I want 10 tisting creams and 10 shampoos and 10 conditioners. You don't need that. Find what works for you and die by it. Live buy it I guess you can try different things but if that one thing already works what you need to try a different thing for just live by that product that you have I really noticed that when I had less of less products like remember I said I only have like five products that are like from not from earth like only five products I mean it like five products that's all I need saves you money like you don't need every single Shea Moisture can to all that stuff, you know what I mean? Yes, try things and see what works best for you, but once you find it, stick to it, because your hair loves consistency, I'm sorry. It just loves consistency. So yeah, less is more, I promise you. I promise you less is more. You don't need the whole beauty supply store in your cabinet, you really don't, okay? Tip three. Oil is a sealant, okay? And what that means is oil seals in stuff. Okay, well duh. So let's say you put Oil on dry hair, you're sealing in dry hair. I know, isn't that crazy? Or if you put, you need to put water and then oil, cause the, you know, the water and then the oil seals, seal, seal, seals it in, okay? This is something that I didn't know, but it makes so much sense, cause after, when I would put oil on my dry hair, it felt like nothing was happening, like the oil was just sitting on top of my dry hair. But then I learned that oil is a sealant. Remember that, because it's just so mind blowing. Like, you think oil is just gonna like, make your hair look so lustrous and beautiful. And yes, it'll look shiny, but it's not really doing anything because it's just sealing in dry hair. So wet your hair and then oil. Trust me, I wish I knew this way, way, way back when, but now I know, so now we grow, okay? Tip four, don't touch her, okay? Don't touch her, don't touch her, don't touch her. She doesn't like to be touched. I find from my hair that she just doesn't like to be touched. She'd rather be in twists for two weeks and leave me alone. Like, don't touch me. I want nothing to do with you. I don't know if that makes sense. So, like, over manipulation will be the end of you. So, I remember when I first started going curly. So, I never had, like, a perm. It would always just be, like, I'd straighten my hair every once a month. So, my hair was never in this curly state. So when it was curly, and I was finally like, okay, let me accept the curl, like, let me just accept it. I didn't know what to do, and I just always heard that braid outs and twist outs were like the thing, which it's it's nice. Braid outs and twist outs are nice. So I used to 
braid my hair the night before and then take it out every day i would just braid it take it out twist it take it out twist it take it out my hair hated it i didn't know it hated it because like my twist outs and braids were looking popping until they weren't looking popping from all the manipulation of wearing it out into like a cute afro puff and yes i know you want to look cute and you want to have your braid out but you you can't you can't do that every day you can't because your hair just hates being touched my hair my hair i'm gonna say mine because i don't know about y'all but like my hair just hates being touched she doesn't like things around her like my hair right now it's not an everyday thing this is something that's very rare and i wouldn't do it often because even when my hair it would touch the ends like my shirt like just touching my shirt and touching my hoodies and like it just doesn't like it it wants to be in a ponytail away from environment away from everything and i've noticed that when i stopped wearing my hair like this a lot it was my ends just looked so much more beautiful like it's just I got less split ends and just keeping it tucked away was so much better that's why i think people some people really have a lot of growth with wigs because your hair isn't touching anything so when i can afford a wig i'm definitely gonna get some wigs because your hair just likes to be tucked away like she just wants to be tucked away don't touch me leave me alone let me grow let me prosper like this this is not an everyday thing it used to be an everyday thing and then slowly my ends just got worse and worse and worse so yeah don't touch her. If she doesn't want to be touched, leave her alone. She's she's a loner. So that's what I learned. Anyways, next tip. This is so important. Get your trims for crying out loud. Don't hold on to those dead hairs. I learned the hard way that you need to get your trims or your hair is going to trim itself. And by that, I mean it's going to break off because of all the split ends. So when I first started going natural i used to, before i went natural i would wear my hair straight remember i said i would get it straightened every month but along with getting it straightened i got my regular trims at the salon so i was getting professional trims and my hair was still thriving like it was at my mid back but as soon as i went curly i stopped getting trims and i didn't know that was an issue until remember i told you my hair was getting shorter like every month like it was just getting shorter and shorter and shorter and it was getting more and more damaged and i was so confused i was like but i'm wearing it curly why can't you just keep growing and being long like you were before no it was because i wasn't getting my trims so save yourself the time and get your trims get it professional i prefer professional because like they know what to do but if you do it yourself get actual trimming shears don't use the ones that you had since kindergarten trust me i did that and my hair just got worse from there so i noticed when i have my regular trims my hair is thriving and she's growing and i'm not saying it grows any faster i'm just saying the growth is more noticeable because your ends aren't ugly and breaking and stuff so yeah tip number six is it tip numbers oh no whatever tip we got next let's go and this is to follow after trimming know the difference between breakage and shedding there's a huge different shedding is just a long piece of hair or however long your hair is with a little bulb at the top so like the little follicle it's gonna have like a little follicle at the top because you know what's the shedding now breakage is tiny it's tiny little shedding something like this big and let, let's say like a split end broke off that would be breakage that means it literally just broke off and that's breakage so know the difference between breakage and shedding if you're getting a lot of breakage a lot of tiny little ends everywhere that means sweetheart you need to trim and trim it now because i told you she's gonna trim herself that breakage is literally her trimming herself like she's just like either you gonna do it or i'm gonna do it and you're not gonna like the way i'm gonna do it you know what i mean so just go get a trim once you notice some breakage like when i notice a lot more breakage then i know like okay let's go get a trim you know what i mean or you can just look at your ends and tell like yeah a trim is definitely in need write that down okay next tip i think number six i don't know okay i'm sorry but wash and goes are not for everyone and in that i mean some hair is more prone to tangles after a wash and go than other hair types wash and goes look beautiful on every hair type if you're doing it correctly okay one sec let me my pistachio they look good on every hair type but some hair types just tangle more than others like mine if i wash and go girl the amount of tangles and fairy knots and single strand knots I'm going to have is just going to be astronomical. Wash and goes really damaged my hair when I started first wearing my hair curly because I just didn't know. Like, people did it on YouTube, so why can't I do it? Don't even bother. Like, I, if your hair is easily tangled, just don't even do a wash and go because you're going to get a lot of knots. And it's just going to be a struggle detangling those knots later throughout the week. And you just don't want to do that. Just... Find a good protective style after you wash rather than a wash and go. I find that works way better. So yeah, 
washing goes are not for everybody. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Stretch your hair. By that I mean twists, braids, something. Stretch her, please. Just stretch her. It'll, it'll work out so much better for you if you just make sure they're stretched. Like, you know how when I always do my twists and I always look like a boy or something? It's for a reason. I'm stretching her and I'm making sure she doesn't get tangled, okay? Because if, if they're, they're, they don't like each other, then they just don't like being next to each other for too long. So stretch her, twist her, comb her before it's too late. So that goes kind of in with like protective styles. So wear protective styles to avoid twist, to avoid uh, to avoid knots. So then you don't have to cut them off later, or they won't break later. So just don't not stretch her. After you wash it, stretch it. Like put it in a twist, put it in some braids. And I'm not talking like braids with extensions. Like I'm talking like just braid your hair back. Like do something, but just make sure they're just not just curly all together, okay? Especially if you have type four hair like me, just not all curly like together because they just argue with each other. They don't like each other. Anyways, next tip. Okay, now this one's kind of random, but this is something that I didn't know, so maybe you might not know, but satin is your friend. Cotton is not, and that goes for everything that touches your hair, okay? Satin pillowcase, do it. Just get a satin pillowcase. Satin scarf, do it. Satin lined hats and beanies and caps. It's more expensive, but it's better. Putting on a cotton beanie on top of your curly hair is just asking for trouble. And I know you might think, well, like, I won't do it all the time, but it's just like over time, it's just, she just doesn't like it. So just don't do it. Don't bother her. Like, she's just, uh, what do you call it? Elegant, like fancy, like she's just so bougie. Like curly hair is so bougie, like you just need so much. But like just satin lined everything will really help your hair in the long run. I promise it will. And I know it's more expensive, but like you want it to be curly, so what do you want? What are you gonna do? Anyways, what tip are we on? Eight? Nine? I don't even know next tip. Okay. This works for me personally. I don't wash my hair that often some people swear by washing their hair once a week, but <sighs> Washing my hair is like the Olympics and I'm not about to wash it once a week You need to be in a good mood also when you wash and detangle because like you just gonna end up ripping things and being aggressive and just doing too much so for me not washing often is really the way to go and the way it is is because I'm always in mini twists always in mini twists and my hair is always just sitting there Lactating I don't know moisturized just sitting there being nice and moisturized looking cute looking pretty I may look like a boy at the time, but like it's okay So you don't need to wash often even though some people may say you do but that's another thing like it's natural hair Everybody's hair is different you I might be good with not washing often But you might need to wash it often so like who knows half of these tips will they even work for you? Who knows but for the people I've told it to they have worked so like anyways one more tip and then Wheezy out of here Okay, never mind. I can't think of anything else, but disclaimer, these are what works for me. I understand if so-and-so said that you need to wash your hair once a week or wash it twice a week. This is what works for me, and I really just wanted to share what works for me because people ask me a lot, and rather than explain everything again, I'd rather just direct them to this video. You know what I mean? So if you found any of these helpful, just comment it down below because I'll read it. So yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. V food videos every Sunday and I try and post throughout the week. Try to be more consistent with that. Become Being consistent just like I am with my hair. Be consistent with your hair, which I guess is another tip. But like, I already gave like my main <laughs> points. But yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch y'all Sunday, okay? Peace out. Update on the pimple that I talked about last week. Um, I popped it and the scar is there. And then I also tried to take out a blackhead with the safety pin. So.